Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. As part of this video, we will be talking about installing and configuring Ranger. So, Ranger is uh, a service provided by uh, 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 Apache for Hadoop cluster. Um, it is provided as, uh, as part of uh, HDP platform and it is primarily to, uh, to provide data level security in uh, more automatic and uh, robust fashion. You can go to the Ranger official documentation and they say uh, the, fo uh, the following goals of the Ranger. It is used to provide centralized security administration to manage all security related tasks in a central UI or using REST, REST APS. So either you can use uh, um, a, a web interface or centralized user interface or using REST APS. It provides fine grain and authorization to do a specific action and or operation with Hadoop component or tool and managed through a central administration tool. It, it is used to standardize authorization method across all Hadoop co uh, components. You can also configure role based control, access control, attribute based access control, etc. Uh, so these are the um, primary goals of the Ranger. So you don't need to worry much uh, uh, about Ranger as part of the certification. And the certification curriculum only says install and configure the Ranger. For that, click on actions, click on add service. And you can see Ranger here. Click on next. And here there, uh, you have to take care of following actions. Uh, so for to, um, to make, to, to use Ranger for the centralized uh, um, access uh, centralized security for your data in Hadoop cluster, you need to have a MySQL or Oracle or Postgres or MS SQL Server database. So for that, first you need to create a MySQL database the way we have done for Hive, Woozy, etc. in the past. So it is very straightforward. I think uh, 37 is the server on which we have the MySQL. Let me do that. Let me val validate service MySQL D status. It is running. So here I have to log in as root and uh, I logged into the MySQL database using the username and password. Now I am creating a database called Ranger. Create database. Ranger create user Ranger identified by IT varsity and then grant all on Ranger dot start to Ranger plus privileges and exit. Okay, and also make sure you validate MySQL minus U Ranger minus P. Password is IT or city, so databases and it, it should list the Ranger database because we have granted permissions on the Ranger database to this user. And also in SN master step of this wizard, you will be prompted to specify which host of the for the Ranger admin. So you need to choose uh, a host for the Ranger admin uh, and make sure you have access to that server. And then you have to run this command Ambari server setup JDBC DB, which is MySQL in this case. So the command is simple copy this one and our database is of type mysql so hence mysql and then we have to give the um, jdbc driver which is nothing but jar file it is under slash user slash share slash java slash mysql connector hyphen java dot jar and hit enter okay i have to uh, run it as root sorry mm. sudo so just type sudo because the user ect user is a sudo var okay and then it is also done so all the four steps are done 
I have met all the requirements above and proceed. Now it is asking to assign the master. So I will try to set up Ranger on 37 itself where we have the MySQL database. As part of the certification, they will give the host on which the Ranger needs to be set up. Probably they, you might have to create the database or they might give the uh, uh, database uh, uh, for you, you uh, with the credentials, username and password. You, you just have to provide those details. Here the password, Ranger admin users password for Ambari. It is uh, IT varsity. Okay, DB settings, we are using MySQL. DB username is Ranger. Okay, password IT varsity. IT varsity. Also, we need to give the root username and password for Ranger. And in, in my case, the root usernames are also IT varsity, IT varsity. So to, to work, uh, to login as root, when you actually do the secure installation, by running uh, this command slash user slash bin slash mysql secure in installation when you run this command it will pro prompt you dislo root um, uh, remote login and you have to say no dislo root remote login if you say yes then uh, uh, outside uh, from outside the server you cannot be able to log in as root uh, to enable um, you have to say no for that question okay so if, if for some reason if it fails then make sure you run the user bin uh, mysql secure installation and make sure the diesel or root login uh, to no and then diesel or root remote login as no and then you can uh, you should be able to connect uh, you, you should be able to test the connectivity by clicking on test connection and uh, the test connection is okay and then there is we need to create another db which is uh, ranger audit db so here also i will be using the same database okay we need to create uh, ranger audit database as well Instead of, instead of using one database for everything, um, we should segregate the databases for different purposes. Earlier we have given and the ranger db uh, uh, name and the password, uh, username and password and here they are asking for ranger audit db name. Okay, so let's create this one, whatever they are asking or whatever they are prompting. So mysql minus cu root minus p password is it varsity and then create database ranger audit create user ranger logger identified by it varsity and then grant all on ranger audit dot start to ranger logger flush privileges exit make sure you test mysql minus u ranger logger minus p it is the password and show databases is the command to validate whether we can uh, see ranger audit or not so here give the password it varsity okay now it is asking for uh, um, other ranger settings it is asking for the um, uh, the uh, user uh, group and all those things uh, from the uh, from OS level here I will mark it as none external URL this is required
so what we have to do is we have to give http colon slash slash i will leave it as unix only and then uh, our uh, url is the ip address on which ranger is running ec2 dot internal colon 6080 and then click on next so as part of the certification they will give all these details so you need you don't need to worry uh, about most of the things so you just need to be careful about the uh, entries you are making it should be in sync with their expectations so again this video is primarily to uh, uh, to showcase uh, how we will be doing in the certification this is not the complete material for ranger there will be another set of videos to cover ranger in detail where i will try to elaborate on most of these things but for now this is good enough for the certification purpose so now it is in the final step uh, checking the ranger it seems there were some issues while validating the ranger it is about uh, uh, negotiating the security uh, so uh, one of the checks have failed just click on next and click on complete so it's not a, cl a cleaner installation um, but the ranger is added to the cluster so this is how you can add uh, uh, the ranger you have multiple databases that needs to be created in the underlying database uh, for ranger uh, as well as ranger audit uh, and uh, yeah here it says ranger admin is stopped so try to start it most likely it will start click on ok click on this blue icon yeah now it is started and now you can see that most of the services has to be restarted as we have to restart most of the services click on uh, hosts and then select all the hosts click on actions all hosts hosts restart all components and click on ok now everything will be restarted so ranger admin is not coming up uh, so we can actually uh, troubleshoot by going to var log ls minus ltr there should be a directory for ranger here and then admin server is not coming up there are two servers admin and user sync and uh, the admin server is not coming up and we can uh, look into the details here so it's a memory related issue so we need to increase the memory uh, or we um, we need to increase the memory on the host right now the memory uh, that is available on the host is not good enough so as i am using ec2 this is 37 i am stopping it because i have to increase the memory once stopped i will change the instance type from c3.large to c3.xlarge so that i can get more memory on this host in uh, certification i don't think you will be running into these kind of issues uh, you, if they ask uh, uh, ranger probably they, they will pre-configure most of the stuff and they will only ask uh, you to take some of the actions because setting up ranger can take a good amount of time because you need to create the databases you need to take care of several other things as well now it is stopped 
go to instance settings change instance type and change it to c3.xlarge now we will have 8 gb ram instead of 4 gb and then start this host So now uh, the server is up and running and we have to start all the services to make sure that our ranger installation and configuration is successful. So now ranger admin server seems to be started, uh, still uh, it is in progress, ranger user sync is also started now. Now we can refresh and make sure that everything is up and running without any issues. So in case if you run into out of memory issues, uh, probably uh, either you have to reset some of the memory settings as part of the certification exam. If you are not uh, familiar with, just uh, raise the issue with the Ambari, sorry, uh, raise the issue with the Hortonworks uh, uh, certification support team that some of the services are not coming up because of the out of the memory issues. Most likely, they will give enough memory for you to give the cert certification and you, you should not run into out of memory issues unless and until they specify to increase or decrease certain memory settings as part of certain configurations that needs to be done. Most likely it will be good enough. So make sure there are no uh, circular orange, uh, uh, sorry, uh, orange colored circular arrows like this. If there are any, just make sure you restart them and uh, it goes off. You can check that by refreshing the URL. Now it is up and running without any issues. You can click on this. There are two services that are running Ranger admin and uh, Ranger user sync. And you can see that there are uh, several Ranger uh, plugins for HDFS, Hive, Nox, and Yarn. If you, uh, so most likely what they will ask is they will have the ranger uh, set up and uh, they might ask you to uh, enable the ranger plugin for a given service. For that you have to go to HDFS, go to configs, click on advanced tab and here you should see ranger related options so you can click on uh, uh, ranger hdfs or it and enable whatever you want here let's say i want to add it to db we have the mysql database and then you have to provide the uh, db username and password here okay so uh, that's how you can actually uh, configure and they will provide all those details about uh, the username and password you need to use while enabling the uh, Ranger HDFS audit. Similarly, for plugin, Ranger HDFS plugin, you have to expand this one and you can enable Ranger here. And they are saying that you have to uh, also change uh, some of the service properties. Click on apply and it will automatically change it for you and then here they are asking for the repository config password range of repository config user so this is used for repository creation on range of admin ok I think here you have to give the mysql user which is ranger and the password uh, which we have provided again as part of the certification they will give those details to you and you have to use those details and you have to uh, uh, click on save and restart the service
okay here i am not going to enable any of the services but that is how you should be able to uh, take care as part of the certification in case if they ask the question on uh, uh, ranger as part of the certification most likely they will ask you to enable on the service uh, on a given service like hdfs yarn etc and uh, they will provide the necessary information to you and you have to plug in uh, punch in those details uh, in the relevant page similarly if you want to configure uh, ranger plugin for yarn click on yarn go to configs and advanced page and there will be uh, ranger related there will be ranger related items here and you have to take care of those things make sure you uh, read the question properly and uh, open up the properties which they are seeking you to change okay so this is how you can configure the ranger and also configure the ranger plugins Again, for the documentation, go here and you can actually uh, read the information uh, that is provided here uh, to, uh, uh, to configure the plugins. So, you can actually uh, click on Ranger plugins overview and uh, they provide uh, the details for each of the uh, service on which Ranger plugin can be enabled. Uh, you can go through these URLs to understand more in detail about uh, enabling the Ranger plugins for those services. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. Uh, again, if you want to uh, go through the parameter files, it will be etc ranger conf. Log into the host where ranger is configured and go to etc ranger conf. Mm -hmm. etc ranger there is no conf directory here there is the admin directory and the user sync go to admin ls minus ltr and then there is the conf directory here and you can see ranger admin related configurations here similarly user sync configurations can be seen here and also log files will be under var log as with any other service so in case if there are any issues you can go to var log go to the respective directory open up the log files or out files and it will provide you the details uh, where uh, the issues are uh, happening and we have seen that earlier uh, our ranger was not starting because of the uh, insufficient memory yeah and i have troubleshooted going through the var log directory and uh, um, i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you discuss if you want to discuss further about certifications or big data please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen cert certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you want to discuss uh, sorry if you if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see lot more content like this all time thank you bye